A landslide victory for pro-democracy politicians in Hong Kong may have changed the political landscape. They won almost 90% of the seats on district councils and are urging the city's chief executive, Carrie Lam, to see it as a call for reform. Paul C is a pro-government councillor who got re-elected. He says this was a nightmare for the pro-government camp. Everything is wrong. I think we have to start with uh, the government policies, government uh, strategies, the uh, composition of uh, all kinds of things, the cabinet and what have you. I think it's just a very loud voice of the people that they're not happy with what they've been going through the last six months. China's foreign ministry in Beijing, though, emphasized that stopping violence and restoring order was the paramount task in Hong Kong. Our China media analyst Kerry Allen has been looking at how the news is being reported in China and Hong Kong. Well, in mainland China, they're not pleased whatsoever, and they didn't appear to be expecting this. So some of the coverage that I've seen today coming out of official media like People's Daily and CCTV are saying there's still more work to be done, and they're suggesting that there's more people who are violent than they thought, because going back to June, when these demonstrations began in Hong Kong, the official media in mainland China were putting out the idea that all of the demonstrators were rioters, they were hooligans. So, um, so there's, there's concern coming out of official media and, uh, and, and there are some particularly strong lines from some papers saying that it was Western influence that has led to this result. So the suggestion that Western governments have influenced violence in the region. But people in mainland China are aware that something's happened. Yeah, they're, they're talking about this today. They're also showing papers from Hong Kong, but we have to bear in mind that Hong Kong has a very different media environment to mainland China. So there are independent papers and there are also pro-Beijing papers. But people in mainland China can't access independent papers because China has what's known as the Great Firewall and it censors independent results to only show its message. So people who wanted an idea of what people in Hong Kong might be seeing are only seeing one side of the story. And they're seeing, for example, papers like Ta Kung Pao and Wen Wei Po, these are pro-Beijing papers, that are saying that this election was rigged. So they're, they're putting out some very strong lines suggesting that demonstrators on the ground were actually affecting the results. So one example was that demonstrators were walking up to elderly people and confusing them to vote the other way. And, uh, and also they were spreading rumours online to convince people to vote pro-democracy as opposed to pro-Beijing. But also China has what's known as the 50 cent party, who are people who are paid 50 cents, a very small amount of money, by the government to post messages in line with the government's message. So a lot of the comments that I'm seeing that have a, particularly a lot of likes and are forced to the top of the rankings are ones that say end Hong Kong violence. These demonstrators, again, are terrorists and hooligans. So very much in line with what Beijing wants. Kerry Allen.